Hello everybody, my name is Gautam, welcome back for another video of Humankind. We're coming back to this series, boys, where we are obviously done with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So I had to play a new game for you. Uh, and I decided it was a great idea to play for you guys. Humankind, like come back to it. I did tell you uh, when I stopped playing it, I did tell you that I was going to come back eventually to it. And uh, what I want to do here is actually do a brand new gameplay, a brand new let's play and everything and start from uh, from the brand uh, new, I guess. So that's what we're going to try and do today is we're going to do a brand new game. It uh, seems like the game is much more stable. It doesn't lag as much, although we do have to let the game, the faces uh, move up a little bit. All right. So I don't know who I'm going to pick up. I'm not going to pick up the same character this time around. I'm going to pick up somebody else. I do want the world to be uh, huge. I do want the world to be huge. Everything basically the same. Eight continents. Sure, why not? New world, yes. Island odds, whatever. Just want to make sure that everything is fine. Yeah, it seems like everything's fine, boys. So we don't need to change anything about that. Uh, the pace, normal. So the pace for normal is about 300 turns. I kind of want a, a fast pace, boys, because of the let's play and everything. So we're going to do a fast pace and we're going to do it's going to put us at 150 turns maximum. So it's going to be a very fast pace uh, a one and stuff like that. And uh, last human standing. Do we want that or time limit? What we're going to do is we're going to do the time limit. Right, so time limit reach, boys. So pollution threshold and stuff like that. So we're gonna do a time limit. So that means that uh, where the game is basically gonna end, whether or not we go out the 150 turns, the game is gonna end at that at those amount of turns. So it's gonna stop. So competition, competitor, uh, competitors. I'm not sure, sure. Hold on. Difficulty definitely is still Amulet because I'm still not used to playing this game. I haven't played it at all. Uh, what we can do is peaceful mode. So we're going to set off peaceful mode. I want the AI to be uh, aggressive, to be uh, to do something. Definitely want the AI to do something about that, boys. Custom maps, I don't have any. Continents, I don't have any. We do have some add-ons. That's pretty much the same. Okay, so we're good on that part. So let's go ahead and go to competitor, uh, competitors. Uh, what we're going to do is we got already the maximum amount of people that we can get. I actually want to have less amount of people this time around. Even though we have a huge map on. I kind of want to have like five people around. Just so we can have as many as much space as we can get. You know I don't want to have to deal with too many people. So we're going to do that and... I'm guessing what, uh, which, uh, I kind of want to change my character a little bit. I'm going to go for this one. It looks nice. It looks nice. It's pretty simple. It's a flower and everything. So I, I like it. I like it quite a lot. I actually get to change the color though, because I was blue last time. Let's be red. Let's be red this time around, boys. Why not? We're going to be red and the rest of them. I'm not too sure. Let's put Elisa in. We're going to, we're going to do as well. Uh, Gilgamesh, why not? And uh, who else do we want? I feel like Boudica would be a good option. So Boudica as well, boys. So uh, we got this. These are the four civilizations we're going to be facing. There we go. I want to say that's what I want right here. So let uh, that's going to be a let's play. And uh, I think we're good, boys. So let's start it up. We're good to go. We're going to have a lot of fun and stuff. I've obviously got some mods that I can equip and stuff. Not a lo whole lot, though. Uh, most of these mods that I have available, I don't want to use them because they're going to be mostly annoying. Uh, not really big time options. I think I'm I'm going to go for the money though. I am going to do the uh, money mod. Alrighty then, boys, we're in the world. Gonna let the time, uh, let the game have time to load. Okay, it's, it loaded. It's all good. So now that we're good to go, and he's going to start talking and stuff. What sort of lives will they have? All right, so he's, ta he's done talking. Right away, you can see we, sp uh, we spawned right beside a mammoth, which is not the greatest of things. Uh, we're trying to, we're gonna try and survive here, but we are near a shore, a shore boy, so a uh, water source. 
which is going to be fantastic if we want to create an outpost right away we can definitely do that we are going to need though obviously a bunch of points influence points in order to do that but we're going to stick around for now because i do want to settle here this is going to be a perfect place to settle at first thing i want to do boys is uh equip my uh mod so let's see if they work or not let's hope they do all right so boys i think it worked i think it worked what i did is i equipped the mod that, that was giving me a bunch of money like 10k money uh of base and i equipped a mod that uh, is something like that for the ai so we're gonna see uh what uh, if it works uh, at all so let's go ahead and enter it into the battle right away let's go let's go let's go we're gonna move oh wait up what is he do uh, what is he doing okay let's you let me move you right there there we go let's start the battle off let's do manual battle just because I want to see if it works or not, boys. And I want to see if it's actually stable. So, yes, we are going to stay here. And deployment, we're good. We're going to stay here. We're going to start attacking them. So, does he get to attack us first? No, we, we get to attack him first. It does work. All right, there we go, boys, as you can see. So, we're not going to lose as much health. I also have the unlimited health, like, option as a mod. But I didn't use it, boys, simply because, simply put... I, I know I don't need I'm not gonna need it or anything so uh, I think we're good we're, uh, we're good here so let's just uh, let's just finish it up end the round all right so it's done all right so uh, Grove star has been horned we uh, just earned a Grove star as well look at that three population just from that that is fantastic let me see if I can't do automatic battle all right here we go so if I did automatic battle it actually automatically finished it. So I've earned an era star may now choose a new culture. So already we've got an era star, which is crazy. Just from that one battle, make sure I didn't mess up or anything. No, I didn't mess up, boys. So all I did was just kill an elephant or a mammoth, and I already got an era star. So evolve your civilization with a new culture for the next era. Uh, we might as well choose now. So let's go ahead and choose our new era right away. Uh, which one do we want to be, boys? I'm guessing it's because I chose to be a fast-paced uh, let's play. It's uh, really going fast and stuff. Yeah, you don't need a lot of hair stars. Uh, so, what do I want to be? Do I want to be the zoo, the Assyrians, the Babylonians and stuff? Let me see, look around. So, let's look at the details. That's plus two science uh, per research. Not too shabby. What about the uh, Egyptians? They've got industry, basically. The, they've got the pyramids. And they've got like some sort of cavalry or chariot. What about the old max influence? Uh, a lot of influence, money. I'm gonna need. I want to be the Nubians. I feel like I need to be the Nubians just for the money, boys. Let's do that. Let's adopt them, just for the money. All right. So we're gonna adopt that. We're gonna be the Nubians for the first era, uh, for the ancient era, just because I want to be able to uh, like uh, get a lot of money fast. So. Let's do that. Let's confirm. We are now the Nubians. Just like that. All right. That's what I like to see. So we got three growth star. We need five knowledge stars. So that for that, we need like to actually search uh, research stuff. And we need some hunter star as well. Uh, we cannot move. We're done basically. So let's just move to the next turn right here. All right, boys. So like I said, we are in your the new era now. The so we are now in the Neolithic era. Who will in turn provide the means to equip your famously effective archers. Well said, buddy. So we are now moving into the ancient era now. So brand new era. And uh, now it is time for us to actually create some outposts and stuff like that. We want to head back towards there. This is looks like a really strong point of protection. What we want to do is look at where we want to go in terms of uh, city. It's, and we got this resource as well, the woodland. Um, where do we want to go in terms of city? Uh, for we can we can clearly see where would be the best option. So eight, nine of food, right here wouldn't be a good option. Eight of food, six of food, nine uh, nine four. This is a nine four as well. This is a ten six. This would be even better though. Ten six as well. Kind of want to go to up to the mountains though because we're better protected that way. So we're going to do that. We uh, are definitely going to do that. Okay, so let me go over there. 
And uh, we are gonna go ahead and select this place as our first outpost, boys. This easy. Which we are gonna evolve into a city easy. right away. We got the points, we got the money. Uh, let's do it right away. I wanna evolve this into a city. And uh, let's see if we can do that, boys. So, it evolve into a city. A there we go, we got it. So, it's just warmth, like that. Protection and praise the gods, a bit of privacy. All right, here we go. So we got our first city, Kurma, boys. So that's done. That's exactly what I want to do. We have a lot of influence over these shores, which is fantastic. Expansion stars, we need two territories to any city. Okay, that's uh, that's good enough. Uh, what do we want to do? So now, we don't have any populations for now, boys. We don't have anything. Uh, that's fine. We're going to work on it. For now, though, we do need to start building on stuff. So what do we want to build on? First off, we, uh, balanced. We want to go city growth. So obviously we want them to fo focus on the city growth. Uh, it's going to be a three turns for before getting our first populace. Uh, infrastructure pottery workshop would be good. Uh, it would give us a plus four influence overall for this and some industry. Um, and at the same time, I would like to have the pyramids, uh, some uh, mirror pyramids. You know, farmer's quarters, stuff like that. That would give us money, which uh, would be very hopeful, uh, useful. We're already making ten, uh, uh, seven per turn. Though. I'm gonna make uh, a pottery, just so we want uh, we want those influence points, boys, as soon as possible. Do not have the money, so it seems like the money uh, thing did not turn out to be working too well for us. Let me see if I can fix that up. Okay, so it doesn't seem like the, uh, the money uh, mod uh, seems to be working, which is fine. So that means we're ju that just means we're going to have to work it out. We're going to have to work our smartness in terms of making money and stuff. Um, but uh, b since the, m uh, the mod itself for the, uh, I'm guessing the uh, one hit kills does work. That's at least there's that, you know, there's some mods that are going to be working. Uh, we do need our first technology. Uh, to research our first technology. City defense. I, I want to be a really strong defense center. And with arbors and everything and whatnot. Uh, calendar dust domestication. Animal barns. Not really right now. Quarters, granary, carpentry. Um, let's go for city defense. I think that's the first one we want to go for. It's going to take six turns to get us there. So let's just uh, do that right away. I'm going to get rid of those uh, things. I'm guessing with the money, I've got the money now, but I can't use it as as of now, right? Because if I do this, for example, if I do this, okay, so I had to restart it. And now I uh, buy it. There we go. So I just want to quickly buy those things. So now we got pottery. Pottery is done, I believe. We got that done, which gave us uh, plus, uh, plus six uh, of that. Public ceremonies. We can get more food and stuff, but you know what? Let's get Let's get more money. First off, so that's the first thing we want to do is get more money. Uh, where is it going to be? Where would it be good at? Plus three, plus six of production, four, two, four, six, three right there. That would be six, two. So I'm guessing the best option would by far be that place right here. So we're going to put it right here, right here. And we're quickly first building it, boys. So there we go. Culture. I hope the style is pleasing. Because it will be around for as long as the city lasts. So there you go. So we got the, some pyramids, boys. And we're making more money because of that. 10 per turn. Fantastic. And now we can start working on... I think I want to work on growth. Uh, so food as much as possible. So let's do that. Let's work on the food. We already have that going on. So five of food. Five right here. Uh, one, five, five right here. Five as well. Anywhere where, the, where it's a five could be great. This is a fertile uh, for These are fertile lands. So definitely want to put those right here. I think uh, putting those right here would be great. So there we go. We got a bonus of food right here. So uh, that's going to be good. We got 16 food per turn now. Which really helping us out boys. So what um, I want to do now. So I guess I don't want to use my money too much though. I think a feast would be great, but I think we're doing fine. Maybe a quarters, though. Definitely want to upgrade our quarters. So let's put a quarter somewhere right here. 
We definitely got something going on right here. I want to put it right here because it's a 6-3 as well. Yeah, this is a good place to put it. So let's put that right there. So now we got some quarters. We're making even more money and more industry. Uh, so that's really good. So I feel like we're doing fine right now. We can start, continue to build up. So let's just do a food thingy again. And we got some eight of food right there. Hold on. Yeah, eight of food would be great. So let's just put it right there. I'm not going to use any money this time around. I think we're going to be fine, boys. Don't need to use it. Uh, what we, we want to do is just keep it going. And I, I do want to heal them up. Uh, regroup station. So we're just going to heal them up while they can't move anyways. So we might as well do that. And let's skip to the next turn now, boys. So the t second turn was really fruitful for us. We managed to build a lot of stuff. And our city is growing quite fast. Uh, like I said, I don't have any districts. I'm going to save the money mostly for the districts that I have to buy. The special districts. The rest, I can wait. Um, two turns. Another extra two turns for population to grow. Which is going to be fantastic for us. Alright, so we got uh, that. We can probably go and try and build a new city right away. Uh, but I don't want to do I kind of want to explore first. And really focus on the main city uh, for now. So let's explore and see what we can do right here so we're gonna go along the shores i haven't discovered everything that's right here so i want to make sure that i discover everything right the surrounding areas make sure that everything's cleaned out for us so that is done okay perfect so one of the nomadic tribes the messenians went into the uh ancient era okay good uh with my uh guys right here which we have four people it looks like or uh, four move. We only have three um, people. I want to go here and explore, boys. We got some more resources here. So, blessed with wandering, uh, wondrous uh, healings properties. That would be a good thing. I feel like I really need to, um, to take that uh, under control. I need to get those things. Okay, so we are making tw uh, tw 13 gold per turn. And 10 influence per turn. That's a lot. Merchant power investor. So invest in the resource deposit. If no extractor exists, this one will be created instantly. What does that do exactly? I can't do anything with that. Okay, so that's fine. I guess I don't. I can't really do anything with that. I'm not sure what that means. We'll figure it out in the me uh, in the long term. We do have a society. Show civics though. Show me the civics really quick. Oh, I, I don't have any civics. I I can't equip any civics yet. Okay, so, but uh, we do we do have to keep in mind with the, the society thing. That is a thing we need to do. Also, uh, they want us, to, for the expansionist stars, they want us to own two territories attached to any city, including the city's territory, current uh, current value one. So we have one city. We can either build a second city or we can build an outpost that like attaches it uh, to it. So that might be one we want to go for. I just keep exploring towards the west and attach an outpost to it. Uh, to this city uh, so we're moving on to the next turn again boys let's see what we got all right here we go next uh turn another uh another one of the uh, nomadic tribes just became uh, uh came uh, went into the ancient era uh population gain for kerma really good so we got our first populace over kerma boys in another two turns we're gonna have another one which is fantastic yeah we're gonna keep him on food uh, just we uh, we want to build on those we can build some more units like building some scouts would be great boys But uh, I don't feel like I need to do that don't really need any more scouts. So we're gonna be fine on that part uh, I want to start I want to continue to explore every single one of my like my shores where uh, how far is my does my actual uh, border go just to make sure that everything's cleaned down. There we go. We explore everything that's on our border. Actual border right now. Uh, what about this? We got some marble over there. So definitely could create like some sort of outpost. Like I want to get a second city in the west or east. But uh, over here we create another outpost that connects the two of them uh, together. That would be great. That would be something that we could do. Uh, most definitely boys. Don't have anything else to do right now. We can keep moving, really. Don't really, uh, not a whole lot happening. In three turns, we're gonna have the city defense, which we're gonna be able to quickly purchase in order to have. So, 
Uh, that's that. In a one turn, we're gonna have our uh, next populace, which is pretty gonna be great. And we're gonna definitely spend them over the money. We're gonna uh, send them there. Okay. And uh, now, you, buddy, kind of want to send you over here to just to create an outpost of some sort. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna explore really quick. Uh, where would be a good outpost? A good outpost would be. That's 4-3. That's 6-6. Six, six. That's the best one by far right now. 11-4. That's quite good for the production. Don't have any other options. I think I want to go there. want to go there, boy. So we're going to create an outpost right here. Boom. Done. All right. So this is an outpost. It's going to cost... It would cost us 80 of influence in order to get, uh, get it into a city. But I don't want it to be a city. I actually want it to be... Um, connected to this uh, our main city so we're gonna attach it boom there we go right away so we're attaching it and that's the era star right here boys one era star done for the expansion one that's done so now it's connected it's all connected together and that means that uh, we are gaining more industry more of everything look at the food and industry production that's fantastic man we're growing quite fast uh, because of that, we are going uh, getting a lot of money. So that's uh, really good. That's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to uh, have an extra uh, outpost right there. That's going to be uh, doing the job right here. So let's continue to skip really quick. So there we go. Next turn, chosen another nomadic tribe wanted to the ancient era. We do have to choose. In one turn, we're going to have the uh, the the first our first technology. We got our populace. Another turn, we're going to have another populace, boys. Because we're gaining so much food per turn, uh, we're getting a lot of uh, stuff done. So we're going to get one into the money. The next one, we're going to put it into the science department so we can build stuff faster. We can definitely get another pyramid. So I want to build on that. That's definitely something I want to do. So pyramids, when do I, where do I want to get those? I can get one over the outpost right here. So let's see where it would be the most efficient. It looks like this place would be the most efficient right here. So we're going to do that and we're going to quickly build those. There we go. Quickly build those just so it's done. Plus 22 ter gold per turn. Uh, we got two objectives. Build this star. So we need to build just one more district and we got another star. We need to get another territory. So another either outpost or a city. So I guess now we don't have anything else to build upon. So I guess what we're going to do is marker squadron. Oh, we do have this elephant. I'm going to limit myself because I've got the uh, one hit kill. I'm going to limit myself to uh, for now to one unit. I'm not going to get anybody in the south uh, just yet. Uh, cultural conversion in the city will be uh, achieved. Okay, so we got a cultural conversion as well as going on. Uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to continue to build on the food or production? I'm going to continue to work on the food, boys. Feels like this is the uh, best option. And I want to work it out on this location right here. Three food, four food. I think four food right here would be the best option. So let's do four food. We're going to quickly build that. There we go. And we're going to um, quickly build another food. Eight, eight. Feel like these are the best options, right? Yes, these are the best options. So create another farm right here. Just create another farm. Until then, uh, we're going to be fine, boys. So create another farm right here. For our unit that's right here, let's keep him uh, moving. So we are continuing to expand our border. Our border is really expanding super far, boys. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Kind of want to go around, though. Yeah, I want, I, I want to go around. We got a sanctuary right here. So a sanctuary right here, we can go into that, take it for ourselves and get a lot of uh, bonus points from that. Uh, I could like start getting, I, I got another era star from that, from uh, earlier from building another district, I guess. So that's good. Uh, there we go. So ancient era for another populace. We got another population, which are now at three population for the city. City defense is now on, which means we can build the palisades garrisons and warrior units boys perfect we can build warrior units um which i'm gonna get rid of this uh quarters uh, farmer's quarter for now we're gonna uh quick just quickly build the para palisades boom just like that and now we've got walls so now we've got walls 
We can also build a garrison, which I definitely want to do. Where do I want to build that? A garrison? That would be plus 15 right there. I don't want to do that there, though. I want to build a garrison. With this garrison is basically where you deploy your units. I want to be very... Uh, near the like the end of a border or something like that that would be a perfect place or even here would be perfect uh you can go from here uh, i'll i'll put it right there it seems like this is a perfect place to put it let's quickly it. build it there we go so we got a garrison a right here power. so this is Only a land unit spawn we can spawn our units right here and uh yeah so that's perfect that's perfect for me uh, we can get some units as well uh do i want to get them there not too sure. I'm, I'm going to uh, put some baby, some people because when you build a military unit, I'm going to I'm going to wait before I get more populace because when you build a military unit or any unit whatsoever, you kind of you lose one populace, which I don't want to lose right now. I want to keep that. We can get more garrisons. I could try and get one over here next to my outpost as well it would be a great idea. I'm going to put one right here. Put one right there. There we go. So we got a second garrison right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is just build on the food now. So continue to do some uh, food production. And we're going to head back and do another one right here again. Okay, that's done. Next one for my units. My units right here. They're going to go there. And they're actually going to ransack this place. Because uh, we need them to do that. So ransack this place. Boom. That's going to give us about 10 gold. It's going to get rid of the sanctuary. Uh, perfect. So we're working on that. And uh, next up, I think we're done. We need to uh, choose a new uh, technology. Which, uh, because of the plus 10 science and stuff, we are now able to quickly research them pretty easily. We're going to go for domestication. That's going to be easy to do. It's going to be in two turns. We're going to be done with that. Definitely something we want to do. So I think this is a good point to end the video, boys. Uh, we are going to keep uh, going for the next uh, next one. We did really well for the first video. We went uh, super fast already. We got our first city. Uh, we went at up to three of population. We already got walls going on. We got some pyramids. Uh, we're gaining a lot of money and influence per turn. And we're about to uh, uh, attack our first sanctuary and stuff. And plus we got our outpost connect connected so next objective is obviously to be uh going to be to uh connect another outpost or maybe just create another city all together i think my cities i want to keep them on the shores though so maybe get, uh, get another outpost i don't know we'll see boys remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video i'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy